I like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Peace and safety to the hopefully elect, all the sincere Akim, scattered throughout the four corners, pushing the Heavenly Father's word out of a pure heart, in sincerity and in truth. And for those who don't know Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God and Yahweh Shah. That's the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and um, in this edition, I'm going to go into uh, the kingdom of heaven and show you that the Lord's elect, which are the kingdom of heaven, which really start with this knowledge. And um, that is that, that the Lord's elect is going to reign here on the earth. All right. Basically, that the kingdom of heaven is here on earth despite what's taught through religion and um, through these uh, uh, One West clowns over at GMS referring to Elder Tahar about uh, uh, the uh, elect reigning and ruling on other planets which that's madness that's not biblical uh, basically a private interpretation and I'm going to show you through the precepts uh, that the kingdom of heaven is going to reign here on earth and not in the spirit world such as uh, religion teaches uh, the first scripture I want to get here Matthew 13 47 it says again the kingdom of heaven is likened to a net and um, that net um, is referring to uh, this truth because Peter Peter was a, a fisherman alright and it's a, a parable about uh, Peter using that net, basically that truth, to uh, gather men. So it says that was cast into the sea, was cast into the sea, out into the world, of course, and gathered of every kind, of every kind. So the kingdom of heaven basically started with the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Um, which are the elect, all right? Because those are the ones who will have the knowledge. Uh, that 144,000 uh, in the book of Revelation, it reads uh, the 144,000 are the only ones that was able to learn that song, all right? Basically, to have that net, which is the truth. So, I'm going to go to the next scripture <clears throat> and prove uh, that point. That the kingdom of heaven is not going to be in the spirit world like, like Christianity and uh, so-called religion teach. Um, the wisdom of this world uh, teaches that that the kingdom of heaven uh, resides in the spirit world. Okay, so the next precept I want to get is the book of Daniel chapter 7 and uh, verse 18. 7 and 18 Daniels, it says, But the saints, which are the elect, the 144,000 of the Most High, shall take the kingdom, shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Basically, have dominion on the earth. And the book of Revelations, chapter 5 and verse 9, proves that. That is not referring to the spirit world um, like religion teaches. So it says this is the book of Revelation, uh, chapter 5, and I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us, and the us is those with the net. The elect, the 144,000, all right? <clears throat> and it reads, and was, oh, uh, Salakia, for thou was slain and has redeemed us to the power by thy blood out of every kindred people, kindred tongue and people and nation, because the Lord elect is going to be gathered from the four corners of the earth. All right, not just from amongst Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, such as these uh, one, one West Old Covenant Israelites uh, teach. Uh, but verse ten is the main point 
that uh, the kingdom is going to be here on earth and not in the spirit world. Because you even got guys um, amongst those uh, old covenant Israelites referring to GMS that says uh, that the elect <clears throat> is going to rule um, on other planets. It's going to uh, reside on planets. Basically the same thing that these Christians, that religion teach, all right, that the kingdom of heaven is going to be out in the spirit world. And, 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 and uh, the elect is going to reside on planets that don't even exist. Alright, because according to the scriptures, according to uh, what's written in the Bible, planets don't exist. Alright, out of space don't exist. The only thing above the firmament is the heavenly father and the angels. Yahweh Shai and the angels. Alright, not planets. So, <clears throat> this is Revelation 5 and 10. It says, and has made us, has made us that same elect, all right, uh, unto our power kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth, not in the spirit world, on the earth, not on planets to heart, on earth, okay? This is Revelation 5 and 10 again, and has made us into our power kings and priests. And we shall reign on earth, referring to uh, the saints of the Most High. Uh, let's go back to the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel, chapter 2 and verse uh, 44. And it reads, and in, and in the days of the kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And that kingdom is referring to the elect, the holy city. Alright, like I said, it starts with this knowledge, this wisdom that dwell within uh, the elect. Alright, uh, let's see, it says, which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever on earth, of course. Uh, verse 45 it says for as much as thou sawest the stone which was cut out of the mountain without hands and that it break in pieces the iron the brass the clay the silver and gold which is um, referring to the other nations the great power has made known to the king what shall come come to pass hereafter and the dream is certain and the interpretation thereof is sure. Alright, so the interpretation is sure that the elect is going to take the kingdom. It's going to reign on earth as kings and priests through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, let's get another priest up. This is the book of Isaiah 14. I'm going to start at the top. It says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. All right. Reigning on earth. This is another example of the kingdom of heaven uh, being on earth. All right. And not in the spirit world, such as uh, religions teach in this world. It says, and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel, which is referring to only the elect, all right, is not referring to the whole nation of Israel, shall possess them in the land of the Lord, in the land, all right, on earth, not, not on planets, not out of space, all right, of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Referring to those kings and those priests. Alright. That's who's going to reign on earth. Alright. Over their oppressors and their captives. And this is referring to the kingdom of heaven. Alright. And it's, it's, it's not referring to outer space man. Which uh, by the way outer space and planets don't exist. According to the scriptures. Alright. So now let's get. Another precept. Go back to the book of Revelations. Uh, chapter 11. The book of Revelations. Chapter 11 and verse 15. 
It says, And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our power, uh, of, our, of our Lord, and of his Christ, of his elect, of those saints. All right, the house of Israel, the elect, and he shall reign on earth forever and ever. Okay, so now let's stay in the book of Revelations. Uh, go to verse 20. So, lock here, chapter 20, and verse 6. It says, Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. That's referring to the elect. All right. It says, on such the second death has no power, but they, those kings and priests, the saints of the Most High, shall be priests of the power and of Yahweh Shai and shall reign on earth, of course, just like we read in Revelation 5 and 9, with him a thousand years. All right, so not in the spirit world, man. All right, the kingdom is, is going to be right here on earth. Like I said, the kingdom starts with this knowledge. Uh, this is Revelation 21 and 7. He that overcometh, referring to the saints, the 144,000, of course, shall inherit all things. And I read in um, Isaiah 14, part of those things that the elect is going to inherit, inherit is the nations. All right. It says, all things, and I will be, to, be his power, and he shall be my son. All right. So basically that's the point I want to show you that the kingdom uh, Of heaven Which uh, religion uh, Teaches that is going to be in the spirit world uh, That the elect Those kings and priests The saints of the most high is going to reign on earth Alright not on planets Remember planets don't exist Alright out of space don't exist Alright it's referring to right here On earth And uh, basically that's the point And with that I'm going to say Shalom